Yukina feels trapped and isolated due to the trials she is facing. So overwhelming are they that she chooses to run away from them as the stress of the situation leaves her in a debilitated state. Spending her time in the park, drinking alcohol and eating chocolate as she can no longer taste anything else. Meanwhile, Takao aspires to be a cobbler, working regularly so he is able to afford the required materials to use, while his peers enjoy their youth. In addition, he consistently sketches designs for shoes he wishes to create. Unlike Yukino, he is driven by an innocent naivety that has not yet been touched by the trials of adulthood. The two meet on a rainy day in the park, where Takao is skipping his morning class and Yukino is skipping work altogether. As the days pass, they open up till they find themselves looking forward to seeing each other on these rainy mornings. Takao reveals his life ambition, while Yukino laments the crushing weight of life. There is a single frame halfway through the film that is particularly curious. First off, there is a branch that separates the two on frame. Takao is seated, rooted and steadfast in his mindset, yet the angular branch acts as a barrier preventing him from crossing over to her world of adulthood, where he would be able to chase his dream in earnest, keeping him in the realm of innocence. Yukino, on the other hand, is leaning over, on the verge of collapse from the weight of life, barely supported by Takao. Unlike Takao, who is prevented from touching the adult world, Yukino has one foot stepping into his realm, as if she is desperate to return to a simpler time but is prevented from doing so. There are three additional branches that protrude towards Yukino, one at her head, one at her heart, and another at her legs. The one at her head shows how her mind is overwhelmed by what happened during her time teaching at school to the point she is barely able to stand up for herself and walk on her own, represented by the branch at her legs. The final branch shows how being abandoned by those closest to her at the time has left her heart in pieces. Finally, at this point, Takao is taking measurements so he could make a pair of shoes for her, hoping they would help her heal so she could walk on her own again. This one frame effectively communicates the current state of the characters and their desires visually.